Yeah, it's been hard. In Southeast Portland Thursday night, Crystal Major builds a small memorial to honor her brother on what would have been his 32nd birthday. He was funny. He was a jokester. He was caring. Um, he gave to everybody. It makes what happened on November 7th of last year all the more awful. Harold Major was shot and killed not far from the corner of Southeast 33rd and Powell, where he was living in a tent. Detectives believe Harold was the victim of a drive-by shooting that he was in no way connected to. He wasn't the target. And so it's just another life that's gone for nothing. The shooting that took Harold's life was one of 891 shootings in Portland in 2020. And unfortunately, the gunfire hasn't stopped. It's only gotten worse. With more than three months to go in 2021, there have already been more than 870 shootings in Portland. One of the most recent coming Thursday afternoon near Northeast 82nd and Sandy. We're told a child and an adult were injured. They're expected to survive. Nobody's taking the time to understand that we have to come together as a community and stop this now before it gets even worse. That's for another day. This night is about Harold. He's missed more than words can describe. Crystal will tell you not much will bring her peace, though tracking down the shooter would certainly be a start. From the beginning, I told myself that if they ever did find who did it, I would forgive him. And the reason why is because Harold would have forgave him. Crime Stoppers is offering a cash reward of up to $2,500 for information that leads to Harold Major's killer. And remember, tipsters can remain anonymous. Reporting in Southeast Portland, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.